Okay, this is a good way to show it. There is quite a difference between our original version of what we've been calling part two. Here's how it started. And here's how it sounds with all of the percussion and bass added. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 28 Launch. In today's episode, we had a moment of uh, existential angst, theoretical mu music theory angst. We were wondering if this piece that you just heard part of was just another version of the C minor major do re mi scale. And the short answer is no, not quite. And it was an important question because we're using both the regular C minor major do re mi fa sol la ti do seven notes and this scale three four four three which is only five notes in the major and five of them. We want them to be different in some way so that when we compose using the two different scales we get different uh, works. Well, it, it turns out it's kind of subtle. It's kind of subtle. If you look at the pentatonic and you look at the heptatonic, which is a Greek word for seven, um, there, are, there are four places where they are different. And the four places are that there is no D in our pentatonic scale, there is no F in our pentatonic scale, and A has no function in the major scale, and it has no function in the minor scale. This is very subtle. And B flat has no function in the minor scale and no function in the mid. So they swap. The blue and the red swap positions here. And then there's no uh, nothing over there. So, so then we double checked um, Buddha's, uh, double checked our, uh, double checked one of our compositional effects for the beaver trail that you may remember. And we found out that. Um, Basically, they would sound the same, um, but the labeling of minor versus major would, would be different. But they'd still be subdominant, they'd still be tonic. So we made up a new word, they're isotopes of each other, which, you know, because of physics. You know, it's, it's an atom, uh, an element that still acts the same, but technically is different if you really dig into the gory details. So... So that was intriguing, and it was still reassuring that, that yes, they are, they're not quite the same. Um, we also uh, noted what a huge difference there is by adding the percussion and the, and the bass, and you just heard us demonstrate that. So uh, the other thing we did is we finished, we basically finished part two. We we're declaring complete on it, at least as far as the composition. We'll play the whole thing. We added the rest of the bass and percussion to part three. We restructured part three. We did some revisiting of blah, 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 blah. You'll hear it in a minute. And then, and then we said, well, what are we going to work on next? And turns out what we're going to work on next is what we call the motherland scale, which is the do, re, mi scale which is another good reason that we spent time today comparing it. This is what we just finished working on, which was the lines of demarcation in the Beaver Trail movie. We spent a lot of time on this scale to compose returning. And then we also spent time on this one, which is that spooky, eerie sweep synthesizer thing, which was lines of demarcation part one. So we are ready to lock and load and start working on this scale starting in our next uh, stream so what we're going to do for you now is we are uh, we're going to play part two with all the bass and all the restructuring ready for you to savor enjoy and and it comes in at 61 seconds, which is, again, we keep saying the magic number where it's it's beyond being too short to just taunt people. And it's, uh, you know, it could be two or three minutes 
if we extended it and like we said we're kind of declaring complete with it for now here we go We love that fast ending. <clears throat> and we like how part three basically mirrors part two, except at double, double tempo. So that concludes today's stream. As we said, our ideas for next time are to, uh, to look into animating part two, uh, not only both visually and orally. So visually would be using our typical animation, uh, we might also look at using some 3D models to import into the animation. We did a little work with another platform today, uh, and we were able to download a Firestorm Collider file and upload a Frame VR GB file. So we got that working for us, um, and begin working with the Do Re Mi scale. Acknowledgements to Mr. Spatz who came back, and Mohammed. 222. Thank you so much. We appreciate your coming back. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming. <laughs>